Hey, this is Crazy John. I'm here with uh, Buddy Flip at the Comedy Zone in New Cumberland. And uh, maybe, Buddy, you could tell us about yourself, where you're from, and what got you started in comedy? Well, I was born in a log cabin that I helped my father build. No, that's not it. Uh, I'm from New York, everyone's favorite city. Uh, I've been a comedian for a very long time. And uh, I actually got into comedy by accident. I was doing some sort of crazy act as a hobby and I was at a club where they had a comedy show and they asked me to come up and do my set and I did. I had some funny songs. They loved me and they asked me to come back the next day and I went back the next day and I died a dog's death. <laughs> and uh, and it's been uh, it's been like that for it was like that for a long time. Now do also make me doing music, I did appreciate some of your songs. I the one I thought was really catchy and could be a number one hit. That one was it? I forget. There were a lot of words to it. I can't remember what it was. Oh, uh, that was uh, uh, go something. I mean, go baby go. That's it. That's yeah. the one. Yeah, it took yeah. Me many years to write that. I had two friends help me, and uh, I did uh, baby. That was my big contribution. <laughs> I did baby. So I also wrote a song uh, about marijuana, uh, but I forgot it. So <laughs> I had to do that. One. Now, who were your influences growing up? You mean comically? Comically, yeah. Well, that's true. That could be a loaded question, yeah. couldn't it? Uh, well, actually, when I was a kid, I loved funny movies, so I was a big fan of the Marx Brothers and Abbott Costello and W.C. Fields and Lola Hardy, and I loved Jerry Lewis. So I loved comedy, you know, from the beginning. It was, you know, like like a lot of comedians, it was your it was your self defense, it was your weapon, it was a lot of things. You know, I have a, you know, sharp tongue. I know I seem real nice right now, but I can be a complete bastard if you just give me the chance. Just give me the chance, I promise. Okay, later. Okay. Being a guy, that's how we are. You know what I mean? So, uh, how would you define your comedy? Uh, a combination of uh, gay, Christian, and African American. I'd say that's pretty <laughs> much. That's interesting. In, uh, in a nutshell, a multi-racial nutshell. I'm not sure if I could uh, see uh, pick each part of that out of your act tonight, though. But uh, you know, I, I, I guess uh, it, it's weird to ask a comedian to be that serious about it. But it's just, uh, I like to think my act is. You know, about having a good time and everyone enjoying themselves and not, you know, uh, oh, God, you got me on the spot now. How you like that? How you like that? What, what, you're on a spot I'm, right there. I'm on two spots. Um, yeah, no, I want it to be entertaining and I want it to be funny. I want everyone to have a really good time. I want everyone to love me. Please love me. <laughs> and uh, That's why you're into entertainment, right? I love, yeah, I love show business. I, you know, I, I, you know, I have the guitar, so there's a couple of songs, there's little jokes. Um, some jokes are short and punchy, some are long story-ish, so it's, I like to think it's a, almost like its own show. Like my 45 minutes is a whole show, you know, like the Buddy Flip Variety Show. You know, it starts with Go Baby Go, it ends with a rather raunchy song, and, uh, and everything in between. Well, I didn't think it was a raunchy song. I was right, right on the money there, I thought. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now, uh, any interesting stories you might have uh, being on, on the road for a while now? Uh, interesting stories, okay. I was in Baltimore once, and I was talking to a couple in the audience, and I said to, this, to the man, I said, how's the sex life? And uh, his wife answered, before he could open his mouth, really loud, <laughs> so everyone in the club heard her, and she said, you see, the problem is, he doesn't eat it enough. <laughs> And that was a speechless moment. I think I dropped the microphone. So sometimes, you know, when something's crazy enough from the audience, you know, anything you say, people will laugh. I had one show where a guy came up on stage. I invited him on stage. I don't do that anymore. And uh, he screamed and started screaming in a positive way. So I asked him to leave and sit down in the audience. Sat down in the audience and continued screaming in the audience. But he was screaming how much, how, how funny he thought I was. So everybody in the audience stared at him. And he was screaming at them, this big fat guy, don't look at me, look at the comic. The comic's a funny guy. And he got up and he left the show screaming at everybody to watch me. And when he left the room, I'd say, me and the audience, 15 seconds of silence, just looking well, at you Well, you couldn't necessarily argue with his taste in comics, but maybe he could have been a little quieter about the it, right? The methodology could have been different, by all means. Um, yeah, those are the first two crazy things that pop up, you know. I, had a, uh, I was in a hotel room once in Michigan, late at night, and the phone rang, and a man, obviously a man, pretending to be a woman, tried to lure me to her room. Uh, I opted not to. Because, uh, you know. Even if it was a woman with a voice like that, you probably weren't interested. No, I don't. Unless know. you're into I that, you know. Sleep with anybody that's got more facial hair than me. <laughs> mm, you're like uh, our old aunts and grandmothers and stuff. <laughs>
lot of old Italian women I don't sleep with. Now, uh, so you, now you've been doing this a while. Any advice you'd have for an upcoming comic? Um, get on the stage regularly. There are like three, three most important things. The three most important, without a doubt, the three most important things. Get on a stage with regularity, meaning irregularity. No, 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 no regularity. Because irregularity will interrupt your set. Uh, meaning, just get on regularly. Like, think about going to the gym. <clears throat> you go to the gym five times a week. You make muscle. You go to the gym three times a week. You stay the same. You go to the gym once a week. Nothing happens. <clears throat> Comedy is like a muscle. You have to number one, get on the stage regularly. Number two, second most important thing, record yourself. Record your set. That's Very good important. advice. So you can watch it. Number three. Uh, even audio, even if it's audio, or video, audio, whatever. Number three, watch it back, listen back to it. And when the audience laughs, make notes. And when they don't laugh, make notes. Where they're not laughing, change it. I know that sounds real simple, but that's it in a nutshell. On stage with regularity, record yourself, listen back to yourself, and respond to what the audience is doing. Without, without a doubt, three most important things. Don't worry about your sitcom. Don't worry about your positioning on the show. Don't worry about your set. You know, focus on your... I think they say, focus on your own program, I think is what they say. What, uh, maybe you could tell people your websites that they could go out and find oh, out yes. more about you and your schedule? Sure, buddyflip.com, www.buddyflip.com. There's also MySpace, which is Buddy Flip Comedy on MySpace. Uh, like I said, you could check it and send an email. And uh, I, I, I teach a course in New York City at the New York Comedy Club. I teach a, a workshop there for comedians. Uh, I have clips, you know, everything you can see where I'm working. I have dates coming up. Uh, I'll be in Las Vegas at the Riviera, uh, February, I think, 18th through the 23rd. And uh, that's, and then after that, it'll be uh, Vic's Pizza Place in Staten Island. That's a big difference, that's, eh? that's usually how it goes. One week in Vegas, <laughs> one week in some guy's I think it's Dick's Pizza Place might pay better, no. Yeah. <laughs> And then some guy's backyard and Benson Harris or something like that. I tell you what, in closing, could you play the uh, Go Baby, Go Baby song for us? All right. Or maybe there's too many goes. Actually. Go Baby, Go, not Go Baby, Baby, Go, Go. Let me try it. Here's a little something. I didn't even do it at my show. This is just for your. We'll get, your get it back a little further so we can see the. Podcast viewers, okay? Here's a little song I wrote about a little problem I have. <laughs> maybe some of you guys can relate. Nope. I can't finish. Anything I start. That's all I got so far. Well, thank you. That was a good song. Thank you. That's pretty much it. <laughs> well, wish you lots of luck in the future and hope to see more of you. Adios, podcast viewers.